Mayfield, who was named sports director in 67. He beat out this guy. They aspired to the same thing I did, and he got the job. Uh, but it speaks to, to the kind of person he is, that when he decided he wanted to go in a different direction, uh, Dave Lane picked up the phone and called me and said, you know, the, the, the job is going to be open. Would you like to apply for it again? He said, I'm not going to be in a position to make the choice, but I want to recommend that you be the guy. The preparation of the of the daily telecast, of course, is the, the most important aspect. The sports fan. Of my day's work. The sports director. Eight or nine minutes. Vern Lundquist. Watch News 8 when you really want to know. WFAA was breaking new ground covering the Cowboys in the late 60s. Back then, you had to be inventive and efficient. We got to use 800 feet of film per game. Now, it takes, if you shoot every play, and I'm sure it hasn't changed, it still takes 1,600 feet of film to shoot the game from start to finish and not miss it. But our deal was 800, so in essence, we could shoot every other play and guess. And for two years, Jack Murray and I would sit up on Sunday afternoons at the Cotton Bowl. Uh, and and I would, Jack would have the tripod up and he'd be shooting. And if I had a sense that something might happen, I'd, I'd pull his pant leg. And then he'd click the camera on real quick. And then if nothing happened, he'd shut it off real quick. And then I'd wait and I'd wait and I'd wait. And pull his pant leg again, he'd start the camera. We went for two years every home game. And we never missed a touchdown. I think it's one of the proudest things to this day. It wasn't just the Cowboys that stretched Channel 8's technological capabilities. Covering Major League Baseball also began in a rather primitive fashion. I led, I led the newscast with a phone in my ear. And I was talking to Tommy Vandergriff, who was at a meeting in New York, and had called us at Channel 8 to let us know that the Washington Senators were going to become the Texas Rangers. But that was it. That was, that's how we all found out. Uh, you know, Tommy speaking like he was in a, a Tim Cup out at sea, and uh, things were really primitive. There are those who swear they could hear Vern coming because of the coats he wore. To say the least, fashion in the 70s was, Winterloo, well, forgettable. Craig Morton would be his starting... And this group of guys who ran a place called the Kent Shop got the station to agree, oh my God, and I see the pictures of the clothes that, they, that I wore, and I'm just embarrassed. I mean, now you think, oh, mercy.